Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to try and answer the question, is Battlefield 2042 good now? So I recently saw a thumbnail from somebody on YouTube. I don't know if I follow them or it was a suggested uh, person to look at. And the thumbnail was exactly that question. Is Battlefield 2042 good now? I don't know if it was Level Cap Gaming or somebody like that. You would think that I'd research who it was before I did this video, but no, nah, you know, lazy. <laughs> anyway, I saw that and I thought, you know what? I might check it out. I haven't played it for quite some time sometime and we're in that kind of mid wipe period with Escape from Tarkov it's got a little bit stale I haven't played too much recently been looking for other things to play um, with my good buddy Jerry we've been playing a fair bit of Overwatch 2 which I've been enjoying but in the bits where he's not been online I've been looking for something else to play and I thought you know what I'll update Battlefield and give it a go I haven't been on it for quite some time opening the EA app it told me that I had not played since August last year so pretty much seven months that I'd not touched the game. Now I remember when Battlefield 2042 came out it didn't have a good launch at all. I gave it the benefit of the doubt, I bought the standard copy and it decided to give it a go and I quite enjoyed what I was playing but it certainly wasn't the Battlefield of old that I had come to know and love over many years. So when they released Battlefield 1 and it went back to the World War period I really really enjoyed that game. It was very well thought out, it was very well presented, the maps were stunning, the, it, the visuals were brilliant gameplay was really good and I really enjoyed that game. Battlefield 5 not so much I wasn't so on the whole World War 2 theme again but you know what I give it a go and I did initially I didn't enjoy it but I got into it and I ended up really liking that game. It sort of grew on me over time so I expected that Battlefield 2042 initially would be an instant hit with me you know we were going sort of back to the future and we were having a more modern day setting, modern day weapons. You know, the devs were getting really excited about it. They said it was a love letter to Battlefield players. It was going to be a Battlefield of old. And it was just none of those things. It was, yeah, we had the modern day setting, but it just didn't click with a hell of a lot of players. And it tanked pretty badly, to be fair. But like I say, I give it its due and I put some hours into it. I think I played 80 hours upon the release of the game. And I enjoyed it, but like I say, it wasn't battlefield of old i couldn't get into it as much as i wanted to so i kind of let it go especially when they had a lot of issues getting the first season out they said that there wouldn't be a new map for many many months and i don't think i played again until august of last year and that was when i heard that the new, you know a new map had been released the exposure map but it was a struggle to get to that map and when they initially released it you could just play that map over and over again but eventually that option gets taken away the map just falls into the general rotation and it didn't come around too often and to be fair it wasn't that good of a map it was okay it was something new to play after being playing the other maps which had got pretty stale so it mixed things up a little bit but it wasn't something that was going to save the game so i stopped playing obviously tarkov wiped i went back to that and kind of forgot about battlefield 2042 until recently like i say i decided to give it a go i updated the game launched into it and i was really pleasantly surprised surprised upon going into a match of conquest the game was just playing really well i think gameplay wise it was pretty good but obviously there's been a lot of tweaks and changes over recent months and it just seems an altogether bet better put together game so i'm enjoying the gameplay visually it looks stunning i have to say i don't know what engine they're running on but it just looks amazing now i'm not running on high-end hardware i'm running a 2080 ti at 1440p but it is buttery smooth i'm not sure what frames i'm getting but i know for sure it's well over 60 it just plays very very smooth looks amazing if i get any stutter in the game which is very rare it's down to packet loss you get the little indicator up in the top left so i get no stutter when i go into engaging people or anything like that it is just it plays so well it and it's probably playing better than it was before so like i say there's been a lot of tweaks and changes to the game obviously now when you had all of the issues with the game releasing there was lots of rumors around that there was you know could battlefield be on the chopping block for ea would they dump the franchise because it had basically tanked so bad would they be able to rescue the reputation then there was a lot of rumors that they'd started work on the next battlefield they were just going to drop this one there wouldn't be very many updates they'd basically just 
just give it lip service to limp it through to the finish line until the next battlefield released. Now if that was the case then the vast majority of the devs moved over to the new project leaving just a handful of people to deal with this one and if that is the case I take my hat off to these people because they have done an amazing job with this game. Them, like I say it's visually stunning sound wise it's always been pretty good. They've done a great deal of work with the maps. I noticed that a lot of the original maps had had points you know points of interest moved around flags had been moved to create a better balanced map more assets had been added into the maps which was one of the things that i criticized when the game originally came out that the maps were very empty there wasn't much going on there was no clutter in the maps whatsoever there was no assets there was no decoration that has changed now there is lots of that in the game so there's still two maps that need to be worked on not all of the original maps did get worked on discarded gets an update this coming week so it will have some of its flags moved and a lot more assets added into the game and then there's just my most hated map hourglass which will get worked on i think in the coming months i'm really hoping that they can make hourglass a good map i've never enjoyed that map i like the stadium battles but that's it i don't like being out in the open it's just too far to trudge as infantry to get from one sort of flag area to another so i'm really hoping that they can put some good work into that map but we also have some new maps now there's flashpoint stranded um i can't remember the name of the other one but yeah there's quite a few new maps in there which is good to see obviously when i've played on them i've, I've not had a clue where i'm going or what i'm doing but i've slowly bedded into them over the come over the recent weeks but yeah i'm really enjoying it it's a shame that the game didn't launch in the state that it's in now if it did launch in the state that it's in now i think it would have been way better received by people i think it would have had a better sort of reception and it would have done a lot better as well i know in the early days there was a lot of stories about the actual drop off in players whether or not a lot of players have come back to it i'm not sure i know that they had a free weekend recently that really did boost the numbers and i think a couple of streamers had been playing it as well which always brings more people into the fold but for me personally i just saw that thumbnail decided to give it a go and i'm really enjoying it you know it's filling a gap for me like i say in that mid wipe in tarkov that always seems to come around you get this gap and it just Tarkov, I love Tarkov, but it does get boring sometimes. They're not doing a great deal in the game at the moment. Event-wise, there's not much going on. You know, they could do some weekend events and things like that, but they haven't done yet. I know that they're doing a lot of tweaks and changes behind the scenes and balancing and that, so... But I just wanted to go and play something else for a bit. You know, not Tarkov, you have to be very serious with that game sometimes. Battlefield, you don't have to be. You die, you come straight back. It's, you know, one of those rinse and repeat games. But I'm really enjoying it. So if I had criticisms of Battlefield right now, it would be the map rotation. So when I started playing again the other week, I did 22 hours in the game before it actually gave me the flashpoint map. I didn't even know that map was in the game and then it just came around in the rotation. I don't like the way the, the, the rotation is done. I'd like maybe map voting to be put in or the rotation to be fixed so that you know what map is going to be coming up next when you join a queue. But other than that, I can't really say too much against the game i think it, it's playing really well i mean maybe another another criticism is that ea still wants to charge 50 quid for the standard edition through the app nobody's paying 50 pound for this game now you know if you are looking at picking it up go on cd keys you can get the standard edition for about 20 20 quid i think that's a much better price for this game at that price point i can recommend this game to other people at 50 quid no i can't so but yeah really enjoying it is it good now i think so I think it is. I think that answers the question for me. I think it is good. I think they've done a lot of work on the maps, put a lot of thought into it, and it's playing really well. I can't say anything other more than that. Let me know in the comment section down below if you ever played Battlefield 2042. Did you dump it and get bored of it? Have you gone back to it recently like I have? Let me know. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.